This is Channel 4, the Mabinogi. In the spring of 1983, preparations began for a unique theatrical event. That summer, over 10,000 people in Wales would flock to see a spectacular open-air performance. A new telling of the oldest tales known to Britain, the ancient Celtic stories called the Mabinoki. The daunting task of staging this epic three-hour production was taken on by Jeff Moore's Moving Being, a theatre company with an exciting history of experimental work. The company has developed an original theatrical style which integrates actors and dancers, music and visual images. The demands of outdoor performance are rigorous, both physically and vocally. For the Mabinogi, the company will be involved in acrobatics, horse riding, hawk handling, and all manner of stunts. A cast of over 50 were brought together from all over Wales for this bilingual production. Welsh-speaking actors and singers joined Moving Being to convey the essence of these bardic tales in their native tongue. And the next thing to do, of course, is learn the whistle part. Music was specially commissioned from Robin Williamson, formerly of the Incredible String Band, a Scotsman who came to Wales to create a musical score out of the whole company and his own innovative mixture of traditional and modern instruments. The Mabinogi was written down sometime in the 11th century, but the subject of its story stems from far earlier, from the Celtic world, hundreds of years before Christ, expressed in myth and magic, legend and early history. The production is anchored by a group of storytellers, basing it firmly in the oral tradition from which it comes. The storytellers introduce and interpret the action as these ancient and often mysterious characters are brought to life. Rehearsals for the Mabinogi took place in South Wales, at St. Stephen's, a converted church in Cardiff's Dockland, which is Moving Beings' home. Much of the scope and scale of the event, however, will have to wait until the company moves up to North Wales, where the production is to be staged in the magnificent environment of Carnarvon Castle. <laughs> 